Hi there. I thought I would just do a quick video to explain what I'm looking for in the create a constellation assignment. So for this assignment, you are going to pick one of the um, star fields. And here's the example of the one I picked that you like, that you think is kind of um, fruitful ground for you to be able to notice some patterns in um, and be able to invent your own constellation. So you're not recreating one of the constellations that already exists, um, maybe one in the zodiac that we're all really familiar with or one of the other common Northern Hemisphere constellations that people often know about. In this one, you're going to try and recreate the experience that um, the ancients had when they looked up at the sky in awe and wonder and just saw all of these tiny points of light and began to notice patterns and shapes emerging from those little dots of light in the sky. And they told stories about them and they built up lore about the patterns that they saw in the skies, almost like doing a dot to dot drawing. So your job is to look at these um, star fields and see what you see. Try and discern if you can see a pattern. Imagine shapes begin to emerge in this star field and then build up the lore of that constellation. So for this part, for science, you're going to be drawing what it looks like, but later on in humanities, you'll be doing some writing and speaking and talking about the lore that you're inventing about the story that goes with your constellation, because all of the constellations have stories that go with them. And both Ms. Coker and I will be sharing some of those stories with you um, from the ancients. And some of them you may already know. You're probably familiar with quite a few of them already. This is your opportunity to put yourself in their shoes and try it out and invent your very own constellation. Hello again. So here I am ready to look carefully at my star field and decide what patterns I may be seeing. And immediately one thing that's emerging to me is that it looks like there's a bit of a line kind of going through here. And then it seems to kind of curve down here. And it seems to extend sort of out here. And what I'm getting when I start putting some of this together is pretty quickly I'm getting a shape that is starting to remind me possibly of a tree. And that puts me in mind of wish tree. And so I'm beginning to connect some dots here and make a shape that could be a tree constellation. And then I could build some lore about my tree and begin to tell the story of my tree in the sky, which might just be the story of Red and his little hollows, one of which Amadora was found in. So obviously you're not going to use the exact same thing and we can't build the lore of Red because that's someone else's story and that would be copying. That is Catherine Applegate's story. But the reason I used it was to show you how I found a pattern amongst this star field and I connected the dots to draw out the basic shape of my constellation. And I'm gonna go in and just try to make things look a little clearer. It's probably, mine is probably a lot more detail than you would need to do. Most constellations are considerably more simple than this. 
but for the sake of giving an example, here is my tree constellation. Its name is Red, so I'm going to title it Red, the, uh, and Red is an oak, so I'm going to call it Red the Oak. And I'm ready to add more detail and color if I'd like. And you can look at some of the examples that I'll post along with this video for some guidance for you. But this is essentially what I'm looking for on this assignment. Please come to the workbee if you have any other questions um, or if you'd like some help on it.